Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So this is your reading for the month of April and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading Aries will see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. We'll also see what are the, what are the challenges and uh, what are the opportunities that are coming towards you in the month of april there is an extended reading for this one link for the same as in description box and comment section i would appreciate if you would hit like share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading okay so let's get started aries let's get started just a sec one, two, one. Sorry for that. <laughs> All right, so let's see what you need to know. Let's see what you need to know. One last shuffle. Aries, let's see what you need to know. Three of Pentacles. What is it that you want to build, Aries? Hmm. I feel that you want to build relationships in your life. You want to build your network. You want to build a very strong romantic relationship but at the same time you also want to build other beautiful relationships which have an equal significance in life of human beings uh, you want to build friendships you want to build uh, work related relationships you want to build uh, good acquaintances a uh, good professional network okay your focus in the month of april will be on building relationships building network okay so to achieve that i do feel like first of all you are coming across as a people's person okay i do see you becoming more extroverted okay and it it is happening both the ways you're also putting in some conscious efforts and what happens is when we start putting in conscious efforts consistently things start happening at a at a subconscious level so you're going to put so much of conscious efforts that later on it will start happening automatically okay subconsciously you will come across as i mean you will come across as someone who is not putting in efforts okay so you will come across as someone who is an extrovert throughout his or her life Okay, so I do see you, first of all, I see you becoming extrovert and or putting in efforts towards becoming an extroverted personality. You, I do see you, you, I mean, you're coming across as very energetic. And because of the fact that your personality is coming across as so energetic, you are attracting a lot of people towards you. A lot of people towards you. I also see you interacting with a lot of people. I also see you attending a lot of work-related seminars, webinars, and conferences. I also see you attending a lot of concerts. Like, you are going to lead a very extroverted life in the month of April. Consciously, subconsciously. Okay? And I do see by the end of April, I really see you building in some really good relationships with people, with some of them. By the end of April, you'll have at least two to three people in your kitty. Maybe so, one person might be a friend, another person might be someone with you're having a wonderful work-related, a, prof a professional relationship. And then there is going to be another person with whom probably you will start developing romantic feelings for this person. Okay, your focus in the month of April is on building relationships. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is telling me that 
there is also this energy of inviting new beginnings newness new new people new environments new energy in your life and in order to make space for the new energy in order to make space for positivity what you are doing is you are cleansing your life you are removing negativity you are removing toxicity so any person who is toxic or who is not as positive as you want them to be is exiting from your life okay any situation which you think should not should not continue to be a part of your life is 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 exiting from your life i also see you cleaning up your home to a large extent you renovating your home um you you rearranging your home furniture you if there are any repairs and maintenance that that were required to be done and probably which got slightly procrastinated in the month of april you are taking care of all of those things a lot of repairs are happening a lot of maintenance is happening and there is some plumbing work there is some carpentry that is going on and there is there is whatever is done in repairs and maintenance and i also see for some of you you might do some shopping for your home i see you getting some curtains i see you uh, uh, you know developing a garden for your for your home uh, i see for some of you you're going to change some of you not all of you you might change your furniture there are there are a lot of changes that you are trying to bring with an intention to invite new energy with an intention to eliminate the old toxic energy from your life you also know that with these changes you are going to feel better you know that okay so this is also in a way this is many people also use cleansing methods uh in order to heal yourself and not only metaphysical cleansing okay but also cleaning up our surroundings that trust me that creates so much of positive impact on us that is highly highly underestimated clean surroundings create tremendous amount of positive impact and more than that if you have a garden and if you show that your nurturing energy towards a garden that also helps in attracting a lot of positivity and also helps in attracting a lot of money okay greenery always stands for money so if you want to attract money in your life make sure you are showing that love to the garden that you have in your home or start developing this hobby of gardening two of cups you are attracting someone see your efforts are taking you towards the right direction your conscious efforts that you are putting to better your life actually they are yielding some really good results aries so i would say that continue doing whatever you're doing okay uh two of cups is telling me that you are finding someone okay you are finding a romantic person and this is looking a very satisfying relationship there is an equal give and take uh i feel like you won't get a chance to complain about this uh situation or you won't i mean if you try to compare this person with your ex you will always see that you always had lot of reasons plethora of reasons to complain about your ex and about their way of living or the way they were uh, how seriously they were playing their role as a romantic partner in this connection you had a lot of complaints about it and that used to exhaust you that used to drain you whereas when it comes to this person you will this person will hardly give you any chance to complain first of all this person will know you so well without even you saying a damn single word they will know what is going on in your mind okay so they will know that you are expecting this person to do this task and they will do it okay so uh you won't feel drained you won't feel irritated you won't be complaining in this connection having said so doesn't mean that this this connection is immune proof this connection is perfect none of the connections are perfect none of the connections are immune from any kind of uh, ups and downs okay so the regular stuff that keeps on happening in all the relationships that will happen in this one as well 
but there is nothing extreme that is going to happen in this connection the world whoever is coming towards you aries this person is coming from a far off distance this person will have a a fixated perspective that is one thing that might irritate you about this person a bit okay like he, this person might come across as too adamant they are like no i'm sticking to my opinion come what may and uh you might find this person becoming this person to be slightly less flexible having said so they will always be careful about their actions okay they won't do anything to hurt you but it's it's an it's a part of someone's nature they are like some people are flexible they don't mind becoming flexible flexible some people are slightly adamant and that's what i see why i'm saying that this person is adamant because the world card showcases four zodiac signs and all those zodiac signs are pretty adamant zodiac signs okay so we have taurus we have leo we have aquarius and we have scorpio so this person might have some of these placements this person is coming from a far off distance they are coming from a far off distance this person will also have very good water placements by the way pisces cancer scorpio this person is going to be bold very bold in the thought process you will you will admire this person for their bold thinking but sometimes you might even feel slightly worried okay you might feel like oh my god this person is too bold for i mean their thought process is so freaking bold that it is scaring me sometimes we feel like that right but overall i see this is a very likable person you might meet this person at work or through work uh also feel like this person will help you uh prosper in your career i mean they will guide you they will tell you certain ways how to rise up in in your career in your professional life okay they will they will guide you they will mentor you they will tell you certain tactics uh and they will help you in certain ways or uh, if you're running a business this person will tell you like do these things implement these th- uh, these things and you will see uh, your business running and accelerating a lot okay uh, i think so this person is going to play a very strong uh, role a very significant role in your life they are not just going to be limited to love and romance i think so this person will also be a very good mentor and a guide and a friend for you uh then we have the queen of wands queen of wands is telling me that you are going to meet this person when you probably might be dealing with someone else already or when you probably might might be thinking about a certain person as a probable contender like okay this person seems really good and among us the entire lot this person is standing out this person is also showing interest in me i should be i should i should be thinking about this person okay and you probably will even go out uh, on date with that person and maybe during by the end of the first date you will start feeling like i think so i'm developing interest in this person so it's it's going to be a very pre- preliminary stage with this another person and bang at that point of time you're going to meet this this person from two of cups with whom you're going to have a relationship with okay so it's it's sort of likely that you might feel slightly confused okay you might be like my goodness like i was literally on the brink of making decision about this other person and you popped up in my life and now i am i am slightly confused but i am wondering more like why did universe put me into the situation why does why does universe wants me to go through this dilemma and that is where this person okay who is going to be your romantic partner and a mentor and a guide that is where this person will help you sort out uh the the dilemma that you are facing and also they will answer your questions very nicely i mean i do feel like the clarity that you're going to get uh, especially if you're if you will be standing at crossroads especially if you're struggling between two uh, two uh, options 
the clarity that you're going to get, you're going to get that clarity because of the wisdom of this person. And they are not going to influence you so that you end up selecting them. No, this person will always guide you in the right direction. Okay. So I think so. The fact that you are being given options that is happening because maybe universe is testing you. Universe wants to know, like, are you still, do you know what is it that you want in your life? Let me test you if you know it well or not. Okay. Uh, the challenge that is coming towards you, we have Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is telling me that Sometimes you'll have to take a very strong stand, okay? And that might be difficult for you in the month of April, okay? That is actually against your core personality of being an Aries, okay? You strength, leadership qualities, go-getter attitude, confidence, all these things are your forte and these are your USPs, okay? But maybe in the month of April, somewhere you will, sometimes you will find it a bit difficult to take a very strong stand or to showcase a very strong personality. Okay. Opportunities that are coming towards you. Opportunity, I feel five of swords is also more about conquering something, winning something. Okay. Uh, I do feel like you're going to conquer I mean, positivity in your life is winning over negativity. That's that's what I'm getting. So opportunities will be given to you, which will help you bring back positivity in your life and, and sort of distance yourself from the negativity. That's what I'm getting. Okay. All right. I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person take care have a great time and bye bye aries